Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you a simple way of creating brick patterns with Odini. We'll also have a look at some simple H scripts to make it as procedural as it can be. So I have this geometry that I want to transform part of it into bricks. Let's start by creating a subnetwork to have a cleaner graph. Diving inside we need to select the bottom part where we'll have the pattern. Let me just enable the polycount display as, the, as we will need it. As you can see we have 22 prims or faces in this object. Let's select 11 of 22 which is the polycount of this geo. Now we can blast the prim selected previously. Creating a grid as it will be the base of our pattern. Using the match size node, we can scale the grid to the same size of the original geometry. Let's separate the faces with the facet nodes. And we can visualize it with the explode view to make sure the faces or prims are indeed separated. Now we need to select every odd or even rows. For that, let's use a range. In the first field, enter the amount of columns, subtracting 1, and in the second input we multiply the same columns field by 2. Basically, we are selecting the amount of faces in the horizontal axis and skipping the same amount. Finally, we can offset the selected faces, and in this case I want it to be exactly in the middle of the faces above and below, so we need to find a way to make it procedural. As soon as I change the values on the grid, it's no longer creating the exact pattern. So let's start by querying the bounding box size of the incoming geometry, and we are getting the expected results, offsetting exactly by the X size. The next variable we need to take into consideration is the number of bricks in of the grid, so let's divide the previous variable by the number of horizontal bricks, in this case the grid columns minus 1, and multiply it by 2 with the required brackets, just like with simple math. Now we can change the grid pattern and it will always offset half brick in the horizontal axis. The next step is to clip the pattern as we have some additional geometry on the sides, and for that we can use a box clip node. We want to match the size we had before, so we can use the bounding box of the match size, both for X and Y. And then center the box clip to the same centroid of the previous geometry. Make sure you spell everything correctly, in this case I was missing the end quotes. And as you can see we now have the correct clipping. We just have another problem, there are bricks missing on the left hand side, but that's an easy fix. Let's just use a transform in between to scale the grid in the X axis. If you need also to scale in the Y, there's an extra step, we need to center the pivot. Just enter the default variable CEX, CEY and CEZ in the pivot translate. Now everything should work as expected. We can scale the pattern, change the amount of bricks and we have a completely procedural system. As a final touch we can extrude a bit the polygons and give it a small bevel to sell the effect. And that's it, I'm still a beginner in Odini, but as I'm learning I will share a few tips along the way. Let me know if you enjoyed this and see you next time.